Hi dreamers, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 reading. If this resonates with you anytime, please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. Comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple days. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay guys? This is not a personal reading, so something I say that doesn't resonate with your story could very well resonate with another um, person's story who's watching. So, you know, don't be selfish, share the message, take what resonates, leave what does not, and don't shoot the messenger, okay? Now, if this does resonate with you and you do want to book a personal reading with me. I am doing only emergency personal readings at this time. This just ensures that your reading gets out to you within 24 hours. So you have a short turnaround time and I also have a lot of options for that on my website. You can check that link out in the description box. If you want to follow my Instagram, I have been doing readings on there for you guys and posting um, just motivational quotes and also things to manifest if you're interested in manifestation. So if you want to follow my Instagram, if you have an Instagram, that link will be in the description box. If you want to shop my store, shop any of my crystal um, handmade candles or even um, any of my jewelry, anything that I'm wearing today, that's going to be the first link in the description box for you if you're interested. All right, without further ado, let's get into your reading. Hi, hi Pisces. All right, let's get into your reading. The readings are going to be a little different um, this weekend only because my camera is broken. So if I decide to record the long videos I usually do, somewhere after like 17 minutes, 15 minutes, my shit cuts off and I don't know when. And I'll keep talking. I've done it this week already. I've recorded everybody's readings twice this week. Hasn't come out because some of the footage is missing or I'll have to go back and like put them together. And it's just very stressful for me. So guys... Um, until I go on Monday to go get my camera fixed, and I probably won't have my camera back till probably Tuesday or Wednesday, then I have to do these short readings. And with that being said, I'll be doing the homeboy homegirl portion that you're used to in the extendeds because I have to cut that video right after 17 minutes, okay? So that's why we're jumping in. I'm not really doing the advice cards. I still do the last messages, but I just want to give you guys that, dis that disclaimer, okay? Because I know some of you guys are disappointed in the comments that I posted yesterday about that but it's out of my control and i gotta keep my sanity guys okay all right so let's see let's see what's going on with my pisces anything significant going on for my pisces tell me what's going on with my pisces give me some messages spirit anything significant going on with my pisces give me some cards three of swords okay what are you hurting over right now something something resurfaced or something just happened but i'm getting resurfaced yeah the temperance though you'll be okay you're divinely protected. You'll be okay. You're being watched as well. You know, I noticed that like, um, even in tarot, I'll do cards and I see when people are really suffering, it can feel like no one has their back. No one's in their corner, but that's literally when your angels are the closest to you. And I see like whoever is protecting you, God, your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors is like literally right next to you while you're going through this pain. Let's see what else is here. People always feel like, oh, there's no one here. No one cares. There's no one for me. No one, you know, you always feel the lowest at the three of pentacles or the ten of swords. Sorry, the three of swords, the ten of swords. But literally every time I do readings like that, there's always an angel like right nearby. All right. And then what is this? This is the emperor in reverse. Ooh. You reminded me a little bit of Leo. Just a little bit. Not all the way. It's a different story, but kind of like you've been hurt you're healing from that and you do have balance coming forward and you also have been very patient as well so maybe you're waiting for something to come in for you we'll, we'll figure that out in a, in a second but with the emperor reverse it's like you are so obsessed with something going in the way that you want it to go. You cannot, it's like you can't take any more losses or you can't take any more heartbreak. So you're like super, you could come off if you're going to be dating someone new, you could come off a bit controlling, Pisces. I have to say with this emperor in reverse, but we're going to see what is going on, okay? Because I'm not judging you guys. I definitely feel like you've been through the ringer and that's just what it is. Yeah, me, myself, and I is playing literally... Leo had, if you have Leo in your chart, you might want to go watch a Leo reading, but it's like you're putting yourself first and you're only thinking of yourself, but you can come off very controlling in that way as well with new prospects. You might even be looking at the, looking at me in my eyes right now and be telling me dream. I really don't care how I come off to these people and I don't like to see you like that. Okay. So, 
I'm a little nervous. Let me loosen my collar. I'm a little nervous over here talking to you, Pisces. All right, what's the Three of Swords? Give me the Three of Swords for my Pisces. Why the Three of Swords for my Pisces? Why the Three of Swords? Ten of Swords. Okay, so I knew that wasn't too far away, right? Because I kept bringing it up. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, me, myself, and I. Nine of Pentacles. You feel like no one, no one has your back like yourself, so that's who you're going to look out for now, yourself. Ace of Wands is here. You're starting over. You literally could be starting over, like trying to re... I'm hearing rebrand. So if you have a business, you're trying to rebrand or you're thinking about rebranding, you're starting over. But this is also within your life. Like I feel like you're rebranding re yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not Barbie anymore. You're literally a Bratz doll. <laughs> You know how Brad's doll are more uncut and like, you know, they look like, you know, they look like they can give Barbie a run for their money. That's you. Some of you guys don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. It's literally like, you know, I'm not Cartoon Network no more. I'm Adult Swim. Like you are like rebranding yourself, but to be tougher, to be harder, to not tolerate shit. Because maybe you feel like you've been too nice that you've been walked over. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. All right, let's get it. Let's go into these messages. Why the Ten of Swords? So, okay, you're the Three of Swords, but you're thinking of... The reason that you're hurting right now is because you're thinking about a time that you were hurt to your core. So, like I said, when I said in the beginning, you're reminiscing about something. Because I don't know why. I don't feel like this is recent. It could be recent, but there's something that hurt you in the past, like, deeply. Like, you felt like you weren't going to come back from this. You have... But you're reminiscing about it. It's making you sad again. And that's making you also feel like I will never go through that again. So it's like you're so much obsessed with the control of your life and what you won't go through again and what, what you won't allow that you're being very, very um, strict. Okay. What's the nine of pentacles? And I understand that, but I don't want you to be that way. Yeah. The seven of swords is here. Nine of pentacles. You're like, okay. You know, you're watching your back so much, Pisces. You really could feel like no one has your back. Not your family. You can't trust your family for some reason. Not your friends. Not your love interest. No one. No one has your back but you. So you now you're... You see what I'm saying, though? Like, you're becoming so strict and such the emperor energy and the nine of pentacles energy to the, to the fullest that you're coming off a little shady to other people. You could say, I don't give a fuck, though. Like, I really see, tell, see you telling me, like, I don't care, Dream. I don't care. <laughs> fuck. Is it hot in here? I don't know. Is it hot in here? <laughs> I'm nervous, Pisces. I'm nervous. Okay, what's the Ten of Swords? Give me the Ten of Swords. I'm scared of you, Pisces. All right, you have the Eight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so you walked away from this pain. And this pain has also taught you not to give too much of yourself. You know you're you know you're a prize, right, Pisces? And I'm saying that in two ways. I'm asking you that, and I'm also just um, reaffirming it to you. Like you know you're a prize, right? Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands. Okay. You definitely have a new beginning and you're making a lot of changes with this eight of wands very quickly, okay? So almost as if if you have went into hermit mode recently, because I'm also getting that, it's like you, if you have went into hermit road mode recently, when you come out of hermit mode, you're going to be so different. Like your friends are going to be looking at you like, what's gone into you? Or your family's going to be like, why are you acting like that? You kind of switched up. Like people are going to think you're the seven of swords. They're going to think you're sneaky for some reason. So... I see you changing completely, Pisces, but don't lose yourself. Like, Pisces, I really look up to you, honestly, like, out of all the Zodiac. I mean, I really look up to Pisces. I talk about Pisces so nice all the time. Like, one of my closest friends is a Pisces. I'm always bragging about her. My dad and my stepdad are both Pisces. I, I brag about them all the time. And if you act like this, I'm not, I don't want to brag about you if you act like the Seven of Swords, bro. You're better than that is what I want to say. What's the temperance? Ooh, you know what's playing for you right now? Find someone like you. Then you won't have to act like this, Pisces. Find someone who's giving like you. Find someone who is a lover like you, not a fighter. Find someone who um, goes above and beyond like you. Find a hard worker like you. Stop giving yourself to these nobodies. Then you won't have to be the Seven of Swords. Then you won't have to, you know, walk shady amongst shady people. Find someone like you. What's the temperance? 
All right, the star card, healing. So a lot of healing for you right now. Also, I have the five of cups, okay? This is sad. So you're healing, but you have to go through your emotions. So I also get two Pisces that you have definitely swept some things under the rug that have hurt you in the past. They're all coming up again as you reminisce about this shit. It's so hurtful. It makes you really like angry. It makes you like angry. It makes you like, okay, this is why I'm changing. I will never allow this to happen to me again. I will never allow myself to be weak like this again. You know, it has nothing to do with you being weak. Okay, this is what I just told Leo too. It's like, you're the seven of swords, right? Someone did this to you though. Someone was sneaky to you. Someone betrayed you. Somebody deceived you. You know how that made you feel. Why would you want to be this to someone else? Why would you want to be the same energy? Why would you want to be just like this person who did that to you? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's so much better than that, Pisces. Don't let this turn you cold. Because your life is not over. You have so much more living to do. And you don't even know the, the abundance that's coming your way. What's the five of cups? What's the five of cups? I'm not going to preach anymore. Okay. I'm just going to read the cards. All right. Three of cups in reverse. Not happy for sure about what you lost. So you really cared about whatever this was. It did bring you a lot of happiness at once. But it also was a burden to you. So... Yeah, it was fun and it was happy and jolly. It made you happy at one point. You felt like you scored, but then you realized the truth. It's, it's, a, it's, it's too much to keep up. It's kind of like when someone gets a luxury car, right? You're so happy to have a luxury car to stun around town, to be driving your Mercedes Benz, your BMW, your Bentley. But the, but as soon as it's like a the littlest thing happens, like maybe you, you're tired, you need new tires. It's like a whole, it's a burden to upkeep this shit, right? And yes, it made you happy, but the only memories you remember is all the trips to the mechanic. <laughs> you don't even remember the five minutes of fleeing down the road, you know, with your sunglasses on looking hot. All you remember is all the money you dished out or all the stress that this car gave you. So is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? Is it worth even being sad over? No. Be happy that that shit is gone. The Hierophant is here, okay? So literally spirits like listen heal 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 because you do have something very committed coming in for you or you just have something that you wished upon with the star card coming in for you so i'm gonna need you to heal okay i don't want you to be bitter and some of you guys do feel like you're becoming bitter right and okay you realize it that's the first step now redirect that energy because why that's not helping you you know what i'm saying that's not you pisces it's just not you bro what's the emperor y'all are like i don't know i really i really like pisces i don't want you guys to act like this okay all right three of pentacles the emperor in reverse you you ever um you ever were in a school project or a work project where someone just wanted a certain outcome so bad that they take over everybody's part to make sure that they get that A or to make sure that the, the project goes out in their vision instead of just going with the flow and then feeling resentful afterwards because they did all that work and no one else did. That's the emperor in reverse with the three of pentacles. That's like you trying to control a situation so bad. It's like if a new person comes into your life, you tell them how to treat you. And if they don't, you're on their case. But then it stresses you out for being overbearing that whole time. That's what I'm getting. So, like, don't do that. You know how that feels when you have a school project and someone's taking over. the, Or you could have done this in the past, Pisces, where you take over the whole project, but then you're exhausted. You're like, oh, my God, I didn't sleep for days because I was trying to make sure this project was fine. Well, nobody asks you to take over everybody's project. Just go with the flow. That's what Spirit's trying to tell you to do, especially with that star card and the temperance. Just go with the flow. What's the three of pentacles here? I know it's hard, though. Like, I know this is not like, you know, this is not like you just snap and you can go with the flow. This takes time and healing, right? The moon card. Um, it's kind of like you don't know what the outcome will be, so you're just trying to control it so that it goes in your favor. But you actually need to just, especially with this temperance card here, with this angel being so close to you, you're very lucky at this time. Try your luck. Try to go with the flow and see what happens. What's the moon card? Queen of Swords, okay? So you're not really budging. Even with me telling you this, you're like, I, I don't think I can afford to do that dream. I'm sorry. I understand, bro. 
You've been through some shit. I, I feel that 100%. You're going to be successful no, no matter what, the chariot. Spirit kind of wants you to overcome being um, a control freak, okay? What's the, what's the chariot? The high priestess. Let go of the unknown. Some of you guys are so afraid to fail or so afraid for things to go bad because you just don't want to be hurt anymore. But you have to let go of that unknown. That's just life, you know? Life is the will of fortune. It's a gamble. And no, even if you try to control something, it could still go to shit. So... Like, just go with the flow so there's no hard feelings. Because when you go with the flow versus trying so hard to control something, if it goes to shit, right, you're going to be even more upset that you try to control it and you failed versus, oh, okay, it just happened and I had nothing to do with that. High Priestess, the tower. You cannot escape tower moments in your life. It happens to everyone, especially during Mercury retrograde. It's the worst time for tower moments, right? It comes left and right. It's kind of like squid games. You make one wrong move and you blow the fuck up. <laughs> and there's nothing you could do about it. So stop trying to control every aspect. Just go with the flow. And I feel like you have something super big coming in for you. But because you're becoming a some, some sort of a control freak, you could be like, it's like this too. Like spirits looking at you. You know how I'm kind of uncomfortable talking to you? I feel like spirits looking at you like, oh my God. Like they want to drop you abundance. They want to drop you a amazing relationship they want to drop you to ace of pentacles but they're they're like where can i fit this in because oh my god pisces is such a control freak like if i drop this it could blow up it like it's not gonna work out they need to just let go like they're nervous to drop it in your life because they're like fuck bro like pisces is kind of controlling a little bit okay so anyway let me get your last words pisces i'm going to like i said in the extended we're gonna go into your homeboy homegirl i know that you guys and I hope you guys don't think I'm getting on you. I'm not. I just really want you guys to um, know that something's coming towards you and you don't have to lift a finger for it. And that's how easy this abundance will come. All the things in the past that you had to work to hold on to wasn't meant for you. And that's where you have to remember to just let shit go. Don't be like this because you are just such an amazing being. Even just with your sign, you're so um amazing you're an angel to a lot of people's lives and there will be someone that's coming in for you and you will get the right job or work opportunity you will get that money that you're looking for but you have to let go of control you have to have faith that's manifestation all right guys let me get these last words for you because oh my god oh my god i don't even know if this is like um cut off yet because my camera is so weird and i don't know if we're at um it usually happens, I think, around like 17, 18 minutes. So I got to hurry up because I think we're at 15 now. Hold on, guys. Now I'm trying to control this shit. I'm like, oh. All right, guys. Last words, last messages for my Pisces. I might not be able to do an outro, guys. So just know that um, if you want a personal reading, if you want to follow my Instagram page, if you want to... Um, but, um, sh shop my store. All those links will be in the description. If you want to follow me to the extended, all those links will be in the description. I don't think I'm gonna do an intro. I'm just gonna show you guys this. Pushing you away. So this is you pushing someone away. If you're pushing someone away that's not meant for you, wonderful, good. But if you're pushing away new opportunities because you're just such a control freak at this time, it's like, stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> I'm lame. Age difference. There could be someone with an age difference coming in for you. I can't be making jokes right now. I'm on time crunch. Pizza, okay? Something with pizza. You like pizza a lot lately. Great chemistry. That could be someone coming in for you. Ride or die. That's what you want. A ride or die because that's who, who you are. Celebrity status. Okay, check you out. You, you really are rising to the top. You are in my dreams. You could be dreaming a lot, fantasizing about someone or they're fantasizing about you. Hot shit. You're hot shit right now. You cannot lose. You left something behind. You have unfinished business with someone from the past. Big following. Damn. We're going to talk about this in your extended. We're going to talk about the celebrity status and the big following. All right. Bye, guys.